Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and it is Sunday, which means this hashtag Spice Sunday, where we just dive into the amazingness that is the Spice Girls, both as a group and in their own solo careers. So one of my go-to Spice Girl suppliers um, here on social media sent me this a couple weeks ago, um, Crystal Bailey. She, she sent me a couple things. She sent me one video of Mel C singing an orchestral version of her latest single, Blame It On Me, which the second I saw orchestral, that just perked up my ears. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so interested in this. And I cannot wait to listen to that. And then she also sent me this from the same session that looks like at BBC um, Concert Orchestra, cool, um, um, where she's singing Say You'll Be There, Spice Girls. So I was debating which one I was going to do first. Um, so as you can see from the title, we're looking at Say You'll Be There first. And then I'm going to try and get um, the orchestral version of Blame It On Me out next weekend for next week's um, Spice Sunday because it's been a while since I've done Spice Sunday. So I figured, you know, what harm would there be in doing two weeks in a row? Yay. But without further ado, we're just going to dive in and see what this is all about. Oh. Y'all know I love me a good string section. be friends but now we're going around and hey let's see we're twins will this deja vu never end oh and now you tell me that you're falling in love well i never ever thought that would be this time you gotta take it easy throwing far too much emotions in me but any fool can see that falling I gotta make you understand I'm giving you everything All that joy can bring This I swear Woo! And all that I want from you Is the promise you guitar y'all know I love me a good funky guitar another chorus or something 
Oh, well, that was fun. I love that. Um, there was something about the orchestration that it felt it felt very, very British, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but like, just from how they chose to orchestrate things and whatnot, like there was just something about the orchestral arrangement that just sounded like it was giving me pops of Austin Powers. I kept seeing Austin Powers in my head. Um, like the music from Austin Powers, um, because like, Austin Powers, like, yeah, it's, you know, funny movie, haha, Mike Myers, and all that kind of stuff. But, like, the actual music in the background, like, it's full on, it's full on orchestra that they got going on for Austin Powers. And it, it, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful music. Like, um, I think they give you a glimpse of it in the beginning of, it's either the second or the third movie, um, the opening credit sequence and whatnot. Like, at some point, he goes down into, like, an orchestra pit where, you know, whoever's conducting and whatnot, and it's just. I don't know. But anyway, all that aside, something about the musical arrangement of this just, it was giving me Austin Powers vibes, and obviously I associate Austin Powers with the UK. So, like, it just felt very, very British. It felt very, very English. And I love that aspect of it. Um, I love, obviously, I love her vocals on it. And just coincidentally, I guess, you know, asking you shall receive. Um, right when I was sitting here thinking, the only thing that I'm really, really missing from this is background vocals um just because like you know that's one thing that's you know special about having a girl group or a boy group like you've got all these background vocals background harmonies and whatnot and as soon as i started thinking about that like we were i think two verses we were already like two verses in and whatnot and i started hearing this slight little like background vocal in the background and i couldn't actually tell for a while if it was actually if i was actually hearing background vocals or if i was just hearing like some instrument being played to you know simulate that background harmony line and whatnot um just kind of lowly in the background but then at the end there when she started doing the ad libs because i was wondering if she's going to do the ad libs since she didn't have any background vocalists but then i could hear it clearly there were like male background vocalists somewhere i couldn't see them singing in the video but there were some sort of um lower background vocalists who were holding down that chorus so she could do the all the I'm giving you everything, all that joy can bring, yes, I swear, and all, all, all those little ad libs and whatnot. Um, so I was, you know, asking you to shower speed. I'm glad it came along. Um, but yeah, it, it was, it was, it was a, it was a great vocal from Mel, as you know, we always expect it to be, because she's, like I've mentioned so many times, and so many reactions I've done, she was the. She had the strongest voice of the girls in the Spice Girls. They all had their, you know, distinctive characteristics and what they were good at and what they contributed to the band, but she had that strongest, strongest tone to her voice where she always got those belty parts. She always had those strong, powerful parts because she just has that voice for it. And um, I think it was in the, when I reacted to her music video for Blame It On Me, actually, I remember saying how, like, the last couple things I reacted to are from her. Um, she, I was getting all these great dance beats and I was getting all these bops and whatnot, but I wasn't getting those Mel C vocals that we know Mel C has. I wasn't getting those, you know, power belts. I was, I was just getting, you know, good kind of just talk, singing, dance, hit, whatever. So I think that's kind of why I chose to go with this first because I just, I wanted to go back to the roots that I know her as and I want to go back and hear her actually do some of that singing stuff, do some of that belty stuff and not have it just be, you know, cool, fun dance track kind of stuff. But I'm hoping since um, when I react to the orchestral version of Blame It On Me, since it is orchestral, um, I'm hoping that that kind of has her change some vocal, some approach to the vocals and incorporates a little bit more of that Mel C that I love hearing, um, but we'll find out when I react to that. But yeah, this was this was fun. It was fun, and you could tell that she was having fun, especially there towards the end. Because like when you're when you've got that live band or you got that live orchestra behind you, and you're just feeling that music, like it just it, it, it gives your performance this whole different kind of life to it. And she she was just having a good time, so I, I love seeing that. So. Yay, so thank you, Crystal, for the suggestion. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this reaction or you enjoyed Mel C killing the game still 20 years later after the song was released, um, you know, doing it all by herself. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, 
Turn on notifications so we know about when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. Um, if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys. Hey guys, don't forget to check out the playlist on my channel for all of your favorite reaction videos. We've got playlists for Morissa Amon, Kelly Clarkson, Katrina Velarde, Tori Kelly, and more, so be sure to check them out.